Are you tired of getting your walls taken and want to get better to lay for Fortnite? First, head on over to my Discord, which you can find in my description, or go to discord.gg slash lumen. Now, to unlock the files channel, you will need to complete at least one invite. Once you have done this, you can head over to the channel and download the pack. After you've downloaded the pack, right click on it and hit extract all. Change the directory to just the C drive and hit extract. This will apply the pack directly in your C drive, which is where it will need to stay for this to work. Now let's take a brief look at the readme first before we continue. Before you run anything in this pack, it's best to watch the full video and read carefully through the pack to make sure you don't mess up your system. That's pretty much what this readme says as well as the credits and what the pack includes. Next you'll need some Microsoft runtimes if you don't already have them. Open up the VC Runtimes folder and run the install all as admin. This will download everything you need for the time res tool and once that is finished, we can move on to the backup. Open up the folder and the backup text file. Now go ahead and select all these commands and copy them. Now run command prompt as admin and we can just go ahead and copy all these in at once and hit paste. This will make a backup folder in the C drive and create a restore point. You can use this if you'd like to revert any changes we make later on. Moving on to boot configurations, be cautious as some settings may cause the issues or a blue screen. Most of you should avoid changing the TSE sync policy, most importantly, as it often causes blue screen loops. However, you can revert these changes by running the import command listed here. You can also revert it after encountering a blue screen loop, but you will need to wait until it gives you the choice for advanced options. Then you just simply go to troubleshoot, advanced options, command prompt, and run the import command. For both methods, just reboot after and it will all be fixed. Now let's go ahead and open CMD as admin and check our boot configurations. Type bcd edit and it will list out your current config. From here we can see our settings and start changing some of them. I'm just going to be applying all the ones in the pack, but it's best to test them in groups and do the settings you see already listed in your boot config. To apply the settings, just paste in the command and hit enter. Now we need to run the fix. Open up the folder and start with PowerShell. The PowerShell fix is needed for one of the testing files and the registry fix is needed for basically everything. So for PowerShell you just run it as admin and paste in the command. Now select option A for yes to all and then you can close PowerShell. For the registry fix it's the same as the boot configuration stuff just run cmd as admin, paste the command, then done. Now before we restart we need to do two more things. First, we'll be applying Amit's timer res tool and changing our timer res. Open the folder and run the move file as admin. After that, we will need to create a shortcut, so right click to select show more options, then create shortcut. Now we can right click on the shortcut and go to properties and open up the how to apply file. Copy the target and start over to the properties and click apply. If you did it correctly, you should get no errors when applying. Now use the startup folder shortcut to open this folder and drag your shortcut in. This will run the time rest tool every time you boot and is where you will need to go to change the values later on. Now what this does is by default, Windows operates with a time res of around 15 milliseconds and one with a fix. Lowering this allows the system to handle tasks more frequently, which basically just results in smoother performance and better delay. To assess how accurately our computer's sleep functions are, we can use a tool called Measure Sleep. Measure Sleep is a simple tool that helps you check how accurately your computer's sleep functions work. Sleep is pretty much just a pause in this context, so Measure Sleep shows us the difference between when the computer was supposed to sleep and the actual time it slept. What we are mainly looking at is the deltas, which show how close we are to the desired sleep time. Lower deltas indicate better responsiveness, consistency, and it being closer to the intended sleep time. So we're going to be lowering these deltas, but in order to lower them, we need to restart to fully apply the changes we made. Now that we have restarted, let's make sure our timer has changed. Go to the clock res folder and simply run this batch as admin. It'll show us a couple different things, but what we are looking at is the current timer res. If it starts with 0.5, that means you successfully ran the timer res. Now let's run measure sleep again to check if these changes actually helped. So as you can see, the deltas are much lower. This is a combination of proper boot configurations and a good timer as value. Now for more testing, you can run a stress test like Prime95 while Measure Sleep is open, or just test the game using the Measure Samples batch. This tool will average out the test results and you can do custom samples for longer tests. 
Now I'm not going to go over this testing in depth too much in this video, but one last thing I'll show is the PowerShell tester. If you would like to do this test, first we need to open up Prime95. Run a light stress test on these settings, then open up the benchmark time res folder. I have left a text file showing you how to customize the test, but for now, let's just run it on what it's at in the pack normally. Open up PowerShell's admin like before and just run these commands in order. If this does not work, make sure you applied the PowerShell fix from earlier and restart it. Now for this test, just leave the test running, don't touch it, and make sure you don't have any other programs or apps affecting it besides Prime95. Now once this is done, we can read the results by graphing it. So I have left a link in the description to this site. Once you are on it, go ahead and drag in the results file just like this. Make sure you choose line and put requested resolution on the X with deltas on the Y. Now we can see the lowest point and go to the test to see if this is a good value. To change the value, just force quit the time res program and go to the startup folder again. You can do this by searching up time res in task manager like this, hitting force quit, and then going back to the pack where we have the startup extension. From here, just edit the properties, input the time res here, and then run the shortcut as admin. This will apply the new value, and then you can go test if it's good with Measure Sleep or any of the other tools I showed you. It's best to do your own testing because it's different for every PC depending on specs, Windows version, GPU driver, and much more. Now hopefully with this tweak pack, you can improve your performance, and I hope you enjoyed the guide. Again, to download this pack, you can head to my Discord, which is in the description. Here you can find the pack, as well as my manual tweaking sessions, help chats, and more.